Kato on the track, beer. What's up everyone, Kato on the track. In this video, I'm gonna address the number one question that I get asked on social media or via email or in person from both artists and producers, which is how do I make more money off of my music? So I'm gonna give you guys a couple tips, um, motivation and knowledge on how you can generate more income through your music if you're an artist or a producer. Number one, the first thing you should know is asking someone how to make money off of your music is like asking someone how do I get straight A's in school or asking someone how do I ride a bike if I've never ridden a bike before? The answer is actually very simple, but the path to get there is very difficult, which is why a lot of artists and producers are left wondering whether they're doing something wrong or they're not doing enough of something. Now we've all heard about the rule of 10,000 hours, which means that you have to put 10,000 hours into one single thing to master it. Now let's say you've been making music for one or two years or less, uh, part-time because you have a full-time nine-to-five job you might have a family that you have to support so you're just doing music on the side and you're getting to that point where you want to make money off of your music now almost 10 times out of 10 when an artist who asked me this question sends me their music it's pretty obvious to me why they aren't making money off of it which is because it's not good enough so that's why my answer to them is usually always get back in the studio make more music and do that for a long, long, long time. Now, if you've been making music for five years or more or even 10 years and you're still not generating any income off of your music, it could still be that your music is not quite good enough or there could be other underlying issues that you're not addressing, such as marketing, um, building your social media, and trying to engage with your audience. I didn't start making money off of my music until seven or eight years into my career. Before then, I was struggling the entire way. It's definitely not something that's easy to obtain. However, it is obtainable if you put in enough work and hours into your craft. Now, let's say you have put in 10,000 hours or more into your music. For artists, if you're making great music and putting it out there on social media or uploading it to SoundCloud, making sure it's available on all the streaming sites and people still aren't reacting to it, then it's probably not good enough. So you just need to continue that cycle of going in the studio, working on your music even more and perfecting it. Once you're able to do that and your music really starts connecting with your audience, your growth should be pretty much organic. As long as you're being consistent with putting out great music, then you should eventually start to see your numbers grow little by little. Your social media numbers will start to build and you'll start selling your music on iTunes, on streaming, which will eventually lead to opportunities to get booked for shows and tours where you can sell merchandise and find other ways to monetize your fan base and your audience. It's so much easier with do-it-yourself distribution services like DistroKid, TuneCore, CD Baby to distribute your own music and pay yourself. So as long as you're doing all the things that I talked about in this video and you're growing your fan base, building an audience, there are ways to monetize that and not have to rely on a record label to pay you. All you need to do is distribute your own music directly to your fans and you can pay yourself for the rest of your life. Now, if you're a producer, the answer may not be quite as simple. Now, we all know in 2017, there are tons of ways for producers to generate income off of your music. I've talked about some of them in past videos. However, the answer is still the same. You have to make great music. Once you've done that, there could be a couple reasons why you're still not generating any money off of your music. So let's talk about some of the big money makers for a lot of producers in 2017. Number one is placements. So getting placements with major artists is still a great way to generate residual income from your music. If you're not getting placements, then what you need to be doing is going out and networking more, hanging out in studios where a lot of major artists are coming through and recording. And that's a great way to start building your networks and start getting in the studio with a lot of these artists and hopefully get some placements. Number two, selling beats online. Now a lot of producers think that they can just upload their beats to YouTube or SoundCloud 
or on social media and the sales will just start rolling in. Well, I'm here to tell you that unfortunately it doesn't work like that. Every producer in 2017 is trying to sell beats online. So you really need to do your due diligence in creating a brand for yourself and being able to market and promote that brand very well, which is a whole different skill set. When I say building a brand and being able to promote and market it, that means having all your visuals and your graphics and your logo on point. That means having all your beat videos uploaded to YouTube and making sure the videos are professional. That means crafting an original sound that you can build your brand around. That means not following other trends and other producers and what they're doing and really, really trying to build your own sound and your own identity as a producer. Now, once you're able to do all of that and get your brand and your packaging together, then you need to start the process of promoting it and marketing it. So doing things like using Facebook ads, using YouTube ads, Instagram, Twitter. Make sure that you have a website set up where you can drive all of your traffic and your customers to. Set up a Facebook pixel ad on your website that's gonna track all of the traffic that comes through your website so that you can retarget them whenever you run a Facebook ad. So that's a little bit more in depth. We'll probably talk about that in another video or you can just hop on Google and just Google Facebook pixel ads. Being consistent is a huge part of this. You'll notice that a lot of the top selling uh, producers online um, are extremely consistent. They upload new beats at least once a week. So that's the same pattern that you need to emulate when it comes to promoting and marketing your own music. Now it takes a long time. Like I said, I didn't start making real money off of my music until seven or eight years in the game. And at that point, I had already been signed to a record label. I had already had all these placements and I still wasn't making any money. So I really had to educate myself on how the business and how the music industry really works, how producers get paid, and start thinking more like an entrepreneur that just so happens to be good at making music. Once I started doing that, the money started coming in, and life is much, much better. Remember, make great music, keep networking, keep learning, and eventually, if you can hang in there long enough, it will all pay off in the end. Hope that helps. If you're interested in learning more from me, I have some info down in the description. Hope to see you guys soon. Peace.